International nuclear regulators are advising that radioactive wastewater from Fukushima Daiichi be treated with a long-term view. Experts with the International Atomic Energy Agency ended their week-long check on Japan's efforts to decommission the plant. They visited the site and interviewed officials with the Japanese government and plant operator Tokyo Electric Power Company. Team leader Juan Carlos Lentijo spoke about the threat of accumulating wastewater and the large amount of radioactive waste generated during the decommissioning process. Lentijo said TEPCO needs more tanks to store the contaminated water, but also mentioned the shortage of storage space. He said officials should consider options such as discharging filtered water into the sea. He urged them to come up with a plan to control the nuclear waste. The IAEA plans to publish the final report by the end of March. Government officials said they'll use it as a roadmap for the decommissioning project. Japanese government officials are looking at options for how to store nuclear waste long term. They have been trying to secure host sites for the past 13 years, so they've revised their basic policy on final disposal with a panel of experts. The officials plan to bury highly radioactive waste from commercial plants at least 300 meters underground, but no municipalities have stepped forward to host the site over safety concerns. The new policy has been unveiled in an attempt to break the impasse under the plan, government officials will choose candidate sites based on quality of the ground and ease of transportation. They will also be able to recover the waste if policy change, policies change and technical problems arise. Scientists are stressing the importance of responding to public concerns. We need to present the public with a plan on the waste disposal. First, in order to restart Japan's idled reactors. Government officials will gather public com comments before the cabinet adopts the policy at the end of March. And then it takes us to number one. Fukushima happened, what, 10 months ago? And uh, we told you day one there were huge explosions, total meltdowns at many of the, of the different uh, six plants there at Fukushima. Turns out five of the six did blow up and melt down, and it's still belching out radiation, but the government just raised the radiation levels and says that it's all safe now. And up in Alaska, we've got seals dying from radiation poisoning. Uh, that's all in the uh, news. And uh, it took about eight, nine months, but most of that of the tsunami washed away houses covered with radiation from that area of Japan have now hitting the West Coast, and people are reportedly getting radiation sickness. Kids are dying and others uh, in um, dying in the schoolyards, dropping dead from heart attacks from radiation, damaging their heart muscle. We've had top scientists talking about how it infects the heart with the, with the chemicals and, and the radiation and finally kills them. All that's going on, but the trendy media waves a magic trendy wand. And why I call it a trendy wand is it, it's just as if it's an establishment person reading off a teleprompter with their little outfit done just right, shaking, you know, like a starving chihuahua like one of the info babes on, on Fox News who's anorexic but wants to look good for the camera. Um, you know, I mean, if they say radiation's good for you, yeah, half of Americans would drink it down. But the good news is the world isn't run by cattle. It's not run by people who don't care. It's not run by people who will buy any lie they're told. It's run by people that get involved. And that means the evil people that get involved and the good people. And it's always a contest between minorities on both ends of the spectrum. The good and the bad. The Japanese government's nationwide nuclear monitoring system failed to provide data for at least 24 hours before being restored. What the fuck? The emergency response and support system monitors pressure, temperature, and other real-time conditions of reactors at nuclear power plants across the country. It predicts future reactor conditions based on the data. The system also watches radiation exposure in surrounding areas. The government says its investigation discovered that the system was not transmitting any data for reasons unknown. What the fuck? The system was restored without incident on Saturday afternoon. The agency says it is looking into the cause of the problem and how long the system was out of operation. We also predict, I also predict, on, uh, as a result of this ECRR model, that there will be significant increases in infertility in Japan 
as a result of this accident and this is quite terrible and in, any, in many ways it's more terrible than the cancer in adults because it's, it, it's destroying children who, who could have been born but now will not be born and some of those who are going to be born from our studies in the Middle East will have horrifying deformities and, and will obviously in an advanced uh, country like Japan will be aborted. 2011 saw the fewest number of newborns in Japan since the end of World War II. The decline in the country's population is accelerating. The health ministry estimates that 1,057,000 babies were born in 2011. That's a drop of about 14,000 from the previous year. The number of deaths in 2011 was estimated at 1,261,000. That's up around 64,000 due to the aging population and the March disaster. Clinically, clinically aborted before they get born, so the, the birth rate will fall. As a result, the number of deaths has exceeded births for the fifth year in a row. The difference stood at 204,000 in 2011, topping 200,000 for the first time. The ministry says Japan's population is expected to continue shrinking as the nation is seeing an increasingly graying society coupled with a low birth rate. Japan's agriculture ministry says only 20% of the farmland devastated by the March 11th tsunami could be restored before the planting season next spring. That's the point. And, and you have to remember that Fukushima contains probably 2,000 tons of uranium. 2,000 tons. Chernobyl had 200 tons, and 50 tons of it exploded.